Hello everyone, welcome to SPED 514 Behavioral Interventions 1 Comprehensive Programming Across the Lifespan. My name is Sanyang Kim, I go by Sunny. So you can call me Sunny or Dr. Kim, either way works. I'm an associate professor in special education. I'll be the course instructor. Welcome everybody again. So for this course, 514 and 517, you'll take in the summer, those are the two sequential cores uh, for your behavior intervention endorsement. For those two courses, we're going to use the same textbook, uh, this Applied Behavior Analysis by Cooper et al., third edition. So you can purchase this book for this course, 514 and 517, you'll take in the summer. So you can keep this textbook for later learning. Now, we're going to review our syllabus. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me at sunnykim at uic.edu. Let's review our syllabus now. See my name here, uh, Sunny Kim. I'm an associate professor in special education. And you see my office number, 1416. If you want to meet me in person, you're welcome to. Please email me to schedule a meeting. Otherwise, we have online office hours every Friday from noon to one via Zoom. But please make sure you, re you resolve your time so no one else come to, the say, uh, at, come to the Zoom meeting at the same time. Contact information. Uh, my email address is sunnykim8uic.edu. You can email me anytime if you have any questions or concerns or you, if you need anything. Textbook, textbook information. We're going to use Cooper et al. Applied Behavior Analysis. Again, this course, uh, 514 and SPED 517, you will take in the summer. We're going to use the same textbook. So uh, please keep that textbook for the summer as well. Course information. So the purpose of this course is to provide teachers and other school personnel with basic knowledge related to developing behavior interventions for individuals with exceptional learning and behavior, uh, behavioral characteristics. Specifically, students in this course will become familiar with the basic, basic principles of human behavior, the field of applied behavior analysis, ABA, and the initial application of these principles to develop, implement, and evaluate programs of behavior change using experimental knowledge and terminology as they apply to individuals with exceptional learning. This will include intensively reviewing the theoretical and practical, practical issues of educating students with disability through a behavior analytic, analytic lens. The course include a mix of strategies to communicate material, including experimental, observational, and interactive methods. Specific topics to be addressed are aligned with the standards of professional practice outlined by the, um, by the BACB, CEC, and NCATE, and ESB as well, as shown in Table 1 at the end of this syllabus. Topics. The topics to be covered include definition and characteristics of applied behavior analysis, ABA, identification of the problem and preparation of the behavior objective, techniques associated with developing evidence for particular interventions and strategies, data collection methods and single case research design, and ethical issues in client services in responsible use of ABA procedures. The next section includes course expectations. So again, this course will be offered fully online, asynchronously, which means a majority of your time will be spent during uh, working independently on uh, class activities. We're not going to meet on set time. Um, so you're going to complete all each week's assignment by each week's deadline. That's all I, uh, all I expect. Please make sure all course materials for weekly assignment will be made available by Saturday morning and will be due the following Friday at 11.59 p.m. 
If you need accommodation for your disability, let me know. Please send me the letter from DRC so I'll make the best accommodation for you. Uh, the next session section, course implementation. So um, because this is fully online course, asynchronous online course, all materials will be on Blackboard. So you're going to, you're going to go and explore each week's learning module and you are going to complete each week's uh, assignment by each week's deadline. Next session include next section include course assignments. So uh, for this course, there will be four different assignments. First one is reading guides. So there will be a total of nine reading guides. So after you read the assigned reading for each week, you're going to download reading guides, empty reading guides from Blackboard. Each reading guide includes three to four questions I provide. Then after you read the, the assigned readings and you're going to answer to that question, three to four question. And then once you're done, you're going to submit that complete completed reading guide to Blackboard. So that's how you complete each reading guide. Um, I expect that you have a one short paragraph for each question. That's, uh, that's the amount I expect. One short paragraph for each question should be okay. Um, no specific format is required. To earn the full points, you should respond to each question thoroughly without omissions, okay? Late work will not be accepted because this assignment is considered as your um, class, class participation. Next one is online discussion. So um, after you complete uh, the assigned reading, you're going to go to online discussion board on Blackboard. Uh, you will see one or two questions for the week and then you will respond to that question. Again, like one short paragraph is okay. Uh, once you're done responding to the question, please comment on at least one other classmate work. So you can agree or you can disagree. You can add more. So you're going to just comment on at least other one other students, one other classmate's work. So you're going to take a look at how other students respond to that question. Okay. Um, that's the online that's the online discussion the next one is autism internet module aim autism internet modules aim provide useful and practical information for diverse stakeholders such as teachers and, and caregivers the contents are also applicable to all diverse learners including individuals with autism as well as other disabilities We'll study three intervention strategies through uh, autism internet modules this semester. The last one is intervention planning reports. So this will be your final project. Each of you will finish an intervention uh, planning report that will be completed in three different steps across the semester, which will, which will be on a behavior change project that, that aims to teach new skill, such as academic skill, social skill, play or leisure skill, communication, daily living, or vocational to at least one individual with disability. Normally, you're responsible for arranging your own practicum uh, placements by working with agencies, daycares, clinics, schools, or individuals known to you at home. Home setting is okay too. Um, so the intervention planning report will require you to select a target students with disability um, and target an area of academic, social, leisure, play, any, like, any needs. Okay. Uh, I want to say this. So we are still with unstable situation with COVID and other things, right? So I'm aware that most of us do not have access to education settings or individuals with disability yet. 
Given this different diverse situation we have now, you may use an imaginary individuals with disability for this project from your previous um, students with disability or previous work connections, right? And then you can focus on uh, practicing developing behavior intervention plan and uh, data collection method. You don't really you don't have to implement the intervention. So you're going to just learn how to plan and develop um, the behavior intervention plan. That's all I expect. So you don't have to implement the intervention. When you uh, report the data, you can report hypothetical data and that is okay, okay right? Okay. Um, all um, all the samples and forms will be available on Blackboard. You can download it and use it. I'm going to talk about that later in the semester. Grading scale, you will see uh, A, B, C, D, and F uh, because this is graduate level course. There is no plus minus. There will be uh, only uh, letter grade A, B, C, D, F. Late assignment policy. Um, there will be po uh, there will be penalty for late submission. Please keep the deadline for each week's assignment. And then if you know, uh, if if you know that you will need more time, please email me and request extension. I can give you one or two more days to complete the assignment. That's okay. Please do not miss the deadline. Yeah. Um. Alrighty, and then next page, you will see all the standards and objectives. And page eight, you will see the rubric for online discussion participation. Um, just make sure that you respond to the question and you comment on one classmate's um, discussion. That's all I expect, okay? Mm. The next page, you will see intervention planning reports, rubric, and schedule. So again, there, there are three different parts uh, for this project. Step one is understanding the students. So you're going to pick one child, uh, one child, one student with disability, and you're going to talk about that. So first section is student description. Again, you can use imaginary child. That is okay from your previous work experience. That's okay. Make sure you use pseudonym and then you put asterisk after the pseudonym. So um, you indicate that that's pseudonym. Just one time is okay. One time use of asterisk is okay to indicate that is a pseudonym. And you're going to talk about your students, like any information you know, age, grade, or something else, um, family or uh, student's strength area, weakness area, area uh, in needs of teaching. So you can talk about that briefly. The next section is uh, setting description. So if you're teach, if you are planning to teach the students in, in school settings, so you're going to talk about classroom. Uh, if you're going to teach the students in home setting, you're going to talk about that setting, clinic, uh, any setting you are going to teach your students, and then you're going to talk about that. Number of staff, teacher, paraprofessional, if that's school setting or home, if that's home setting, then you can talk about the family or people around, um, you can talk about that. Uh, instructional schedule typical activities uh, in place you can talk about that behavior management plan already in place if there is uh, other information that is important to know in relation to the proposed behavior change so that's uh, section two so including this section one and two that will be step one easy right so uh, you have to you you have to keep some formatting APA format, which means for this sec section one step one you will need title page. I'm going to briefly talk about how to create APA style title page during the semester, so don't worry about this yet. Uh, fewer than two grammatical error or typo. Maximum two pages for this step one. 
they should be double spaced. Okay? Easy, right? Very straightforward. Step two. You're going to uh, do, you're going to plan the intervention. So, uh, item number four, behavior objective. You're going to develop a measurable objective for your target students. For your target student and then a clear justification for why you selected the behavior as the focus of your project number five recording procedure so uh, you have you have to plan on how to collect your data right so you're going to pick one recording system we're going to talk about that during the semester but there will be event recording interval recording duration latency there are so many ways to do that you're going to pick one recording system then you're going to uh, develop data collection form uh, then you're going to explain your rationale for choosing this data collection methods in any other alternative data collection system or method that you considered and rejected. So you're going to talk about these um, formatting, APA format, no title page needed for step two, uh, fewer than two typos, uh, maximum two pages double space, in excluding the attachment, which will be the data collection form you develop. Okay, so this will be step two easy right step three will be the big portion so step three is intervention implementation again you don't have to implement if you don't have any chance um, to meet a, your students with disability or if you don't have any connections or if you don't have any placement yet that is okay you're going to use in um imaginary students and you don't have to implement you're going to just report hypothetical data that is okay if you have a setting but if you're not allowed to implement any behavior intervention project that is okay you are going to also report hypothetical data that is okay so you're going to talk about uh, baseline before intervention and how you implement intervention. What is your intervention strategy? And then this is research methodology. So single case research design. We're going to talk about this briefly during the semester. So you're going to talk about the design you choose and um, you report data and then you will talk about the data, the interpretation. So that's this part. And the formatting again, APA format, no title page needed for this section, fewer than two typos, maximum seven pages, double spaced, including all attachment like graph uh, data sheets you have used. Okay, so that's part three. We're going to talk about this more uh, when we have to submit this portion later in the semester. So you don't have to worry about it. Next page, you will see the course schedule. So um, the first column, week number and deadline. So January 13, 2023, 11.59 p.m. That's the deadline for week one. So uh, each week's deadline is Friday night. Yeah. Topic, uh, you will see topic for this week. And then reading, that's a required reading, assigned reading. And then assignment right here. So week for week one, you submit online discussion. That's all you do. Week two, topic, deadline topic, and then readings. And then assignment, uh, you have to do two different things. Reading guide one and online discussion two. Okay, so that's how you track your work for each week. Okay. I'll briefly show you how to use Blackboard because this course is offered completely online. So all the materials will be on Blackboard. So if you click the course web a course page uh, 514, then you see that the learning modules are organized by week, right? And the first item is SPED 514 contents. 
So you will see the introduction and you can download the syllabus. Like that, right? Coming back to the previous page. If you click week one, you will see learning module four this week. So uh, week one, uh, course overview and introductions. Then I talk about the course and the topic to be covered. After that, you will see course objective for each chapter. Chapter one objectives, chapter two objectives. After that, you will see what you need to do, the things to do for this week. So number one, download and read the syllabus. Watch the intro video below. Uh, read Cooper's chapters one and two. Watch a short summary lecture below. Respond to discussion question as well as one post made by a classmate in week one discussion. So you're going to comment on uh, your classmates introduction. The numbers of following item will be matched with each week's task in the task list above, which means number one, download and read syllabus. So you will see the syllabus in course schedule in number one here. Number two, watch the intro video below and then you will see intro video Number three, read Cooper's chapter one and two. This week is first week, so I understand you don't have the textbook yet. So I scan it for you. Scan uh, chapter one and two, right? Uh, number four, watch a short video, summary lecture video. So I would say this is optional. So I just provide short summary of the lecture and the reading. So you can watch the video here and respond to a discussion question as well as comment on one classmate's discussion. Uh, the item is number five. It's on the bottom, number five, online discussion. So what you do is you're going to click this online discussion link and then click this thread discussion week one. And you can hit a reply to uh, leave your comments. So my questions are here and discussion questions here. Um, you will see other classmates comment too. If you have any question using Blackboard or other things, please let me know. Email me at sunnykim at uic.edu.